Delano is where Captain Figueroa was born and raised, so it is only fitting that this city is his final resting place. Obviously, it was a very sad day, but if today is any indication, it's that his legacy will live on. A hearse carrying the body of fallen Porterville Fire Captain Raymond or Ray Figueroa arrived at St. Mary's Catholic Church just before 10 on Tuesday morning. Waiting there for him, friends, family, and fellow firefighters from around the state. Figueroa, along with firefighter Patrick Jones, died battling an out of control blaze at the Porterville Library one week ago. When one person hurts, we all hurt. And this is. Uh, just so tragic. These two uh, young firefighters were so young, and um, we just really um, reach out our hearts to these as well as their family. Inside the church, Bishop Joseph Brennan of the Diocese of Fresno commended Figueroa's commitment to his craft, saying that he was inspired to make a difference in the world after the events of September 11, 2001. He worked very hard, he studied so hard and, and became a captain. And you don't become a captain by accident, you just don't. You know, it takes a special person to do the things that they do, and he wouldn't have it any other way. After the funeral, a short procession led Figueroa to his final resting place at North Kern Cemetery. That's where we spoke with one of his family members, Edmundo Figueroa. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen the outpour of love and respect and just admiration for, for an individual. I've never seen it, you know, and I'm proud to say that's, that's my little cousin. Outside of work, Figueroa says his cousin was a great father and family man. He was only 35 and leaves behind two children and and a large extended family. A funeral for firefighter Patrick Jones will take place in Tulare on Thursday morning and on Friday morning there will be a memorial service for both of these fallen firefighters. Live in Delano, Brian Johnson, ABC 30 Action News.